again we are going to discuss about different properties of composition function okay i have given one example composition function not satisfy commutative property that is you cannot say f composition g is equal to g composition f always now come to the property of associative property you know associative property see here we are going to check now we have to prove the composition function satisfy the associative property suppose i am writing another theorem okay see here i am writing let you have to prove f composition i have taken let f g and h f g h are three functions three functions then prove that then prove that if we take f composition g composition h equal to f composition g composition h okay that means the composition of function does not satisfy the associate satisfy the associative property i have taken three function first to take the composition f with g then take its composition with h this value is same as if you first take the composition of g and h then you take this value composition with f then these two value are always equal okay we have to prove this one see here okay now i am taking let see here if we take g composition f suppose we take a p j function now you take in this way suppose i am taking g i am taking g is a function suppose a to b okay take this one h no problem h is a function from the end side i am copying let a is a function from a to b then g is a function i am taking b to c and f is a function i am taking c to d okay c a three function i have taken h is a function from a to b g is a function from b to c and f is a function i have taken c to d now first define what are the domain and codomain of this function okay how to define its domain and codomain i am writing a composition g then what is the domain of this function a composition g going from which set to which set i have discussed the domain of a composition g is same as the domain of g and same as the codomain of f so what is the domain of g the domain of g is b and if, what is the codomain of f the codomain of f is d okay so a composition g going from b to d now composition with what composition with h now check a composition g composition h domain and codomain is what okay suppose now this composition is another function so first function composition second function so what is the domain the domain is always equal to the domain of second function and the codomain is always equal to the codomain of first function so the domain of this function is domain of h so it is a now the codomain of this one is what the codomain of this one is coming d so it is d now you clear the now you can find out what is the domain of left hand side what is the codomain of left hand side so a composition g composition h goes from the set a to d now come to the right hand part again we have to find out its domain and codomain c f first find out g composition f going from which set to which set g composition f domain is domain of f what is the domain of f the domain of f is coming c to what is the codomain of g the codomain of g is coming c here it is g composition f see the right hand side what is it then sorry it is g composition x the right hand side what is present in the bracket it is g composition x so find out what is the domain of g composition x is equal to the domain of x what is the domain of x the domain of x is the set a what is the codomain of g composition x this is equal to codomain of g 
What is the quadramen of G? The quadramen of G is C. Okay. Now find out what is the right hand side? G composition, G, G comp F composition, G composition, H. Okay. Now what is the domain of this one? The domain of this one equal to domain of G composition H. So what is the domain coming? The domain coming A. What is the quadramen of this one? This quadramen is equal to quadramen of F. What is the quadramen of F coming? Quadramen of F coming D. Now you can see that G F composition G composition H and F composition G composition H both having same domain and quadramen. Both having same domain and quadramen. Now we are going to prove of this one. You can remember what is the domain coming? Domain is A coming and quadramen is coming D. Okay. Now we have to prove this one. First you have to write this one. You have to define its domain and quadramen. Now we are going to prove this one. Take the left hand side. Left hand side is A composition G composition H. Now what is the domain of this one? The domain of this one is the A set and the codomain is the set D. Find out its value on every element of domain. Okay. Suppose the domain is X, every element of domain element is X. Now this value is coming how much? A composition G of H of X. Okay, you can check. Suppose this is one function. First function, composition, second function. How to define composition? First of second one of x by the definition. Now you can take what we have written. So we have taken a p j. See here, this is a composition g. Suppose first we have taken a is the function from a to b. A to b. Suppose the value of h of x is y. What we have taken y equal to the value of h of x. Suppose this value is y. Now again, this value is how much? This value is f of g of y. Okay. Now again, suppose this is f of z. You take the value of z is g of y. You see how I am taking. H is given the function from a to b. Suppose y is any arbitrary element of the set b. So I have taken this value is y. Okay. Again, it is going to the function. Suppose g of y. Again, I have taken the value of g of y as z because g is a function going going from b to c in this way. So I have taken this value f of z. Now this value is coming f of z. Again, you take the right hand side. What is the right hand side? F composition g composition h of well, you take x. Now what you get? F of g composition h of x. Now it is coming f of again it is g of h of x by the definition of composition function. Again, let take the value of h of x is y. If you take h of x value is y, it is f of g of y. Okay, clear this one. I have taken the value of h of x h y, so it is g of y. Again, let take the value of g of y as z, so it is coming how much? It is coming f of z. Now you can see the left hand side value is equal to copying the right hand side value. So nothing but so left hand side is equal to what you get the right hand side. So what we get f composition g composition h is equal to f composition g composition h. Or you can say that the composition of function satisfies the associative property. In this type of question will come prove that. Composition of function satisfy the associative property. You have to prove it in this way. Or if question will come, prove that for any three function, this one equal to this one. You have to prove this one. Okay, same question. I think everybody clear. So what we get? Composition does not satisfy commutative property, but composition satisfy associative property. Okay. Come to some other proof. We have to prove some other property of composition function. Okay, very important property. We are going to prove. See here, if I am writing a composition C, I am writing this one. One theorem. If G composition F is one one, then F is one one. 
Okay, you have to prove this one statement. Very nice one. If the comp G composition F is one one, then the second function is always one one. Then whatever the first function, the first function may be one one, may not be one one. Okay. After proof of this one, I will give you an example where G composition F is one one, F is coming one one, but G is not one one. I will give one example. First, we have to prove this one. If there are composition of two function, if this composition is one one, then first second one, then second one that is f is always what type of function? f is always one one function. See here we are going to prove of this one. Suppose I am writing that f is a function from a to b, and g is a function from b to c. Then g composition f is a function from a to c. Okay, this is nothing. But by the definition of composition of function. Okay. Now what is given? What is the G composition F is one one. Okay. Now see here we have to prove what F is one one. Now A is the domain of F. Let take any two arbitrary element from its domain. I am taking let f of x equal to f of y. Okay. F of x equal to f of y for x y belongs to the domain of F. Clear this one. I have taken f of x equal to f of y. Now, how to prove f is one? If we can prove x equal to y, if we can prove x equal to y, then f is one one. Now, take the composition of g function on both side. Because I have multiplied the function g on both side. No problem. I have multiplied the function g on both side. Then by comp. This is y. Sorry. This is y. This is g of f of y. Now, by the definition of composition function, g of f of x, g of f of x can be written as g. It can be written as see here. It can be written as g composition f of x equal to g composition f of y. This is nothing but the definition of composition function. Now, see here. What is given? G composition f is one. If g composition f is one one, you can have directly write x equal to y or not. G composition f is one one. So what is the definition of one one? G composition f of x equal to g composition f of y. Then what do you get? Then x equal to y. So what do you get? That implies x equal to y. You take you have taken f of x equal to f of y. What do you prove? X equal to y. So we can say that. So the function f is One one. Okay, the function f is one one. Very good. This is the proof. Now we are going to discuss one example where g composition f is one one, f is one one. Then g is not coming one. What I have told? If it is one one, then g may or may not be one one. I will give one example where g is not one one. See here one example. Okay, this is very important. See here one contradiction example where g is not coming one one. See here. Suppose I am writing example C. F is a function. Suppose F is a function from one two three four two one two three four five six defined by defined by f of x equal to x for all x okay so what is the function defined the f function defined it is defined for all x the image is also x so f of 1 is 1 f of 2 is 2 f of 3 is 3 f of 4 is 4 now you can clear this is one one function the so every different element of domain having different image in codomain so it is a one one function i am taking another function G. Suppose G is a function from one, two, three, four, five, six, two. It will goes to one, two, three, four, five, six, and defined as G of x equal to x. G of x equal to x for all x and suppose G of five and G of six goes to the value five. See here, what I have defined the function. I have defined the function. For all x, the g function value is x except five and six. G of one goes to one. G of two goes to two. G of three goes to three. G of four goes to four. 
but g of 5 goes to 5, g of 6 again goes to 5. Now you can easily check that g is not on 2. Why g is not on 2? Because the range is coming 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But there is the element 6 having no pre -match. So that means the range is not equal to coromen. That means g is not an on 2 function. See here. Now you can here write since f is 1, 1, f is 1, 1, and g is not on 2. G is not on 2. Okay, no need to write details. You can easily check. It is coming not on 2 because range is not is equal to coromen, but it is coming 1, 1. Now find out G composition F. What is the domain? The domain is equal to domain of F. Write down the domain of F. It is coming 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now what is the coromen? The coromen is equal to coming the codomain of G. Codomain is coming 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, find out the value of G composition F. G composition F of 1. How much coming? G of F of 1. So, G of F of 1 value is how much? F of 1 goes to 1. G of 1 goes to 1. Find out G composition F of 2. Is coming G of F of 2. So, G of F of 2 value is 2. G of 2 goes to 2. Find out G composition F of 3. It is coming G of f of 3 so g of what is the value of f of 3 f of 3 value is coming 3 so g of 3 value is coming again 3 next find out g composition f of 4 f of 4 value is how much coming so this value is g of f of 4 now this value is again g of f of 4 value is how much f of 4 it is f of x equal to x for all x so f of 4 is 4 now g of 4 G of 4 value is how much? Again, it is coming 4. Okay, now write down G composition F. What is coming? G composition F. 1 goes to 1. 1 goes to 1. 2 goes to 2. 3 goes to 3. And 4 goes to 4. Okay, now you can see this is the value of G composition F. Check. It is 1, 1 or not. But different element in the domain having different, different image so it is one one but f is one one or not yes f is also one one but g is one one g is not one one i have written you see g is, g is not on to g is one one check g is also you can write not one one and not on two also not one one and not on two g is not one one and not on two g is one one g is not one one because five and 6 are two different element in domain having same image. So this is the example where G composition F is 1 1, where F is 1 1, but G is not 1 1. Okay, I think everybody clear. This is a very good example. Okay, come to the next property of G composition F. This property is for on 2. If G composition F is on 2, then which one on 2 and which one? may or may not be on 2 ok see here I am going to prove next part you can see if I will take see here next theorem is G composition if G composition F is on 2 then which one on 2 G is on 2 Similarly, if G composition F is on 2, then G is always on 2, but F is may or may not be on 2. That means, after proof of this one, I will give you an example where G composition F is coming on 2, but this F is not on 2. First, come to proof of this one. Proof of this one. I have taken similarly, F is a function from A to B, G is a function from B to C, and then G composition F is a function from A to C. You see here, G is on 2 or not, we have to check. Now, now G composition F is given what? On 2. Since G composition F is on 2 means, for every, you can write, by the definition, for every Z belongs to C, there exists X belongs to A, such that, 
I am writing just definition. It is onto means for every element in C there exists a pre-match in A. I have taken one element Z in C. Then its pre-match suppose X in A such that G composition A of X goes to what? Z or not? Clear this one. Now find out. We have to prove G composition. G is onto. Now G of it can be written as G of F of X. Equal to Z. Okay. G of F of X equal to Z. Now, what is the value of F of X? X is present in where? X is present in A. So F of X present in B. That means the domain of G. Here this one. X is present in A. So F of X is the image of X. So F of X present in where? F of X present in B. That means F of X present in the domain of G. Suppose I have taken the arbitrary element from the set B is Y. So you can write here this one G of Y equal to Z for every Z belongs to C and Y belongs to B. So what we have proved for every element in codomain Z belongs to C. I have taken Z belongs to C. There exists a Y belongs to B where Y goes to Z. That means for every element in codomain having a pre-image in domain. That means what? So what we get? That is the definition of onto. G is onto function. Okay. So G is an onto function. Here this proof is very easy. So G composition is G composition F is onto then the function G must be onto function. Okay, now we are going to give a contradiction example. That means if G composition F is on to, then G is most on to, but F is not on to. F may or may not be on to, but we will give one example where F is not on to. See here this example I am writing. See here, very good example. This example also present in your NCRT book okay I am writing suppose for example f is a function from 1 2 3 4 to 1 2 3 4 okay and g is a function from 1 2 3 4 to 1 2 3 okay I have taken the domain of f is 1 2 3 4 codomain is 1 2 3 4 the domain of G is 1, 2, 3, 4. Codomain is 1, 2, 3. Now you see, we define the function. Define as, I have written, define as. Define as. Suppose f of 1 goes to 1. f of 1 goes to 1. f of 2 goes to 2. f of 3 goes to. f of 4 goes to 3. See here, what I have taken. The image of 1 is 1, the image of 2 is 2, the image of 3 and 4, the image of 3 and 4 is, I have taken 3. Similarly, I am defining the function g, okay, g of 1 goes to 1, g of 2 goes to 2, g of 3 goes to, g of 4 goes to 3, okay. So again I have defined. Define the image of 1 is 1, image of 2 is 2, image of 3 is 3, image of 4 is 3. Okay. Now, we have to check G composition, now write down G composition F. G composition F goes from which set to which set. The domain is equal to domain of F. So it is coming 1, 2, 3, 4. The codomain is coming, the codomain of G, codomain is coming 1, 2, 3. Now, see here, G composition F, now what the domain is this one, now you check, F is what and G is what, now G is on to or not, what is the range of G, the range of G is 1, 2, 3, okay, the range of G is, the outcomes are range, 1, 2, 3, the range is 1, 2, 3, the codomain of G is 1, 2, 3, so no doubt, G is a, what type of function, G is an on to function. Come to F. What is the range of F? 1, 2, 3. The range of F is 1, 2, 3, which is not is equal to codomain. So F is not on. Now, 
you can see, you can write also f is f is not onto but g is onto. Only I have written, you can write this one also since the uh, range of g is 1, 2, 3 which is equal to the range of g so g is which is equal to quarter of g so it is 1, 2 the range of f is 1, 2, 3 which is not equal to quarter so it is not on 2 I have written. Now you have to check G composition F is coming one on two or not. G composition F, first we have to find out one. G of F of one. So G of F of one value is F of one value is one. So G of one value is one. Then find out G composition F of two. It is G of F of two. So G of then G composition F of two. G of F of two. What is the value of F of two? The f of 2 value is 2. Again, g of 2 goes to 2. Okay, clear this one. Very easy. We have done this type of problem. Then find out g composition f of 3. g composition f of 3 is coming g of f of 3. So g of f of 3 value is again 3. So g of 3 goes to what? So g of 3 goes to 3. Okay, now find out g composition f of 4. That is g of f of 4, f of 4 goes to what? f of 4 goes to 3. So g of 3, again g of 3 goes to 3. Okay, clear this one? g composition f of 4, f of 4 goes to 3. So g of 3 goes to 3. Again, this value is also coming 3. g of 3 is coming 3. I have written. Okay. Now, write down g composition f in the order pair form. Because it is a fun function, so every element of function is an order pair. Write down in the order pair form, what do you get? 1 comma 1, 1 is goes to 1, you can see 1 is goes to 1. Again 2 is goes to what? 2 is goes to 2. 3 is goes to 3, you can see 3 is goes to 3. 4 is goes to 3. 4 is goes to 3. Now check G composition F is coming on 2 or not. You can see. What is the range of G composition F? The range is 1, 2, 3, 3. That means the range of G composition F is 1, 2, 3. The codomain is coming 1, 2, 3. Since range is equal to codomain, that means it is a what type of function? It is a onto function. So I can write here that implies G composition F is an onto Function. Okay, this is clear. G composition F is a what type of function? Onto function. Okay. So these are the properties of composition of function. Okay. There are so many types of problems in your book. Find out composition. Using this one, also you can find out composition of function. Okay. Now these properties are also discussed. Next part is here how to find out inverse of a function. You know how to find out inverse of a relation. I am discussing. The inverse of the relation is only you have to like that. If R is the element of 1, 2, 3, 4, then what is R inverse? For relation, R inverse is 2, 1, 4, 3. Okay. This is simple. You have to rotate the element 2, 1, 4, 3 in this way. This is very easy for, in, for relation in class 11 is there. Okay. Now, we have to find out how to find out the inverse of function. This is not the trick, you have to only interchange the element, then you find the inverse of the function f. In my next class, I will going to discuss about how to find out the inverse of a function. Okay, thank you.